A, I need to have better control of my schedule. How do I get my clients to work around my schedule rather than me working around their schedule? The C guarantee. Then his other challenge is, how do I get away from all the busy work and do more income producing activities instead of working in the business on you know busy work, work that's not income producing, right? So two things there, Nader. Let's first talk about your schedule. Absolutely, if you let your clients run your schedule, they will. That's, that's what they think they should do. And that's what they're gonna try to do. It, it's a control thing, right? You have to let them know you are the professional. Because if you think about any other professional, when you call up to make an appointment, they tell you what they have available and you pick one. It's no different. Okay, first of all, um, if you ask Beth, um, if you go to, guys, write this down, uh, meetwithmarkz.com, write that link down, meetwithmarkz.com. By going to that link, what it does is, it shows you all of the available times I have to meet. So instead of going back and forth with a client, I just send them that link and say, go ahead and book a time, okay? Because what it does is it takes my calendar and everything that's already blocked out, it only shows them the available days and times. That's number one. Number two, if you're talking to them, sometimes a meeting link doesn't work and you're talking to them, I give people two or three different options. Hey, listen, Nader, this is what I have available. I have Monday at six, I have a morning Tuesday at three, or I have Friday at one o'clock in the afternoon. Which works best for you? And then they're gonna either pick a time or they're gonna tell you none of those work. None of those work? Okay, great. Um, I have a Saturday at, uh, at six o'clock or I have this. And if they ask for something that's not available according to my schedule, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm completely booked those days. Let's try to find something else. So it's you that's in control. The reason why that doesn't work for you, Nader, you're, you're just not trying. You're leaving it up to them. And so it's not a matter of saying no to them. It's just a matter of finding a mutual time, something that works for you instead of just revolving around their schedule. When you have something booked, there's no questions asked. You're not going to, you're not going to change your schedule. You have to have that mindset. Okay. And no appointments before 11 AM because from eight to 11, you're going after new business. I don't care if you lose an appointment. I still say in the long run, you're going to come out ahead if you're still going after new business and you miss out on an opportunity because by not going after the new business, you're missing out on many opportunities. Now, as far as the paperwork goes, as far as the paperwork goes, you've got to hand those files over. We've got closing coordinators. So listen, your brain is going to keep you very busy working on all of that paperwork. Anything to keep you from prospecting, your brain will keep you busy. It's going to do it. That's just what it's trained to do. It's the path of least resistance. So you've got to hand this stuff over and there's no, and there's no reason for you to touch it.